Hey, it's Jonah. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add and format images inside your Kindle books. Now, this is where a lot of self-published authors get very frustrated because it's not as easy as it sounds like it should be. What happens is they'll insert an image in their Word file as they're writing their book, but when they convert it to the Kindle format, the image turns out to be taken up a whole page or is out of place or a whole host of other problems, all of which I'll show you how to avoid and correct in this video. The first thing is to make sure that the photos you're inserting into your books are JPEGs. That's the one image format that Kindle recognizes all the time. The other ones like PNGs and BMPs, sometimes it recognizes them, sometimes it doesn't. So make sure it's a JPEG and you'll save yourself the hassle. You can convert your images to JPEGs at convertmyimage.com, also listed as a link below. Now you'll notice that sometimes an image appears good in your Word file, but when you look at it on a Kindle device, it appears way too big. That's because the Kindle screens are often very small, about a third the size of your computer screen. So you'll have to resize your images to make them fit properly on the Kindle device. The largest page size on a Kindle is six and a quarter inches by eight and one third inches, or 600 by 800 pixels. If your image is larger than that, it's going to screw up the whole format of the book. So what you need to do is right click on the picture and go to the bottom where it says Format Picture and click on it. Then go to the Size tab, and it tells you the dimensions of the image. You see that this picture is far too wide to be on the Kindle screen, so we have to scale it down. Let's shrink it just a little bit here. Get it to be a little bit smaller, not as wide, and that way the whole image is going to appear on the Kindle screen, it's not going to screw up the format. And I kept doing this a lot as I was formatting my books until I was sure the image size was just right. Now there are some other restrictions with image in your Kindle book. You can only have text above and below the pictures, or you can only have pictures above and below text, you can't have the image alongside the text. I know it really sucks because I want to be able to do that, but as of right now, KDP doesn't allow it. So make sure your images are either above or below text. If you try to have text wrapped around the image, it's going to throw the whole format out of whack. The image has to be on its own line. Another thing to be aware of is the image file size. You see, the larger the image file size, the larger the overall file size of your book. When the file size is larger, the digital delivery takes longer, and Amazon might even charge you more for the delivery fee. Because you'll notice when you look at your royalty statements, there's a delivery fee charged to you. Every time you sell a book, they charge you a little fee to deliver the book from the Amazon Kindle store to a person's Kindle device. They determine the fee by the amount of bytes they have to deliver, so you want to keep it as small as possible. In order to get those image file sizes as small as they can be, you'll want to go to webresizer.com slash resize. This website is totally free. What it does is it resizes and optimizes any image you upload to it and then allows you to download it. I needed this because I like to use a lot of images in my books. And you'll notice these two images here. The one on the left is a smaller file size than the one on the right, but you can't really tell that much of a difference between the two. Then one more thing you can do to reduce the image size is compress it within the Word file. What you do is right click on the image, click Format Picture again, and go to the Picture tab. You'll notice right down here in the bottom left corner, there's a button that says Compress. We click it, a new window pops up, and it gives you a few options on the resolution. Now I can compress just one image at a time, the selected image, or I can compress all of the images in the document all at once. That can save you a lot of time right there. Now the resolution you want is this one, uh, web slash screen, this option right here at the top. That changes the resolution from 200 dpi to 96 dpi. But don't worry, it doesn't blur or pixelate the picture or make it look ugly. It still looks very clear and retains web quality. You gotta remember that the end user is going to be seeing it on a small screen already. So you click OK, and then OK again over here. That greatly reduces the size of your book's file, and can save you a lot of money as well as time for your paying customers when the book is being delivered to them. Now if you're looking for free stock photos to use in your book, see this post on our website at unfairedge.com slash free stock photo websites. We found 20 websites that give stock photos away for free and can be used for commercial purposes.